Hello. Many of the region's tourist attractions say they've had a bumper summer despite our unpredictable weather. This weekend, millions of Brits will be holidaying at home, and that's going to bring a further boost to our B&Bs and visitor hotspots. And the weak pound is also bringing record numbers of visitors from overseas. Well, there's definitely been a lack of consistently sunny days. And that's been good news for our museums and anything indoors. But it doesn't seem to have stopped our countryside and seaside towns also pulling in the crowds. Our reporters Johnny Blair and Amy Lee have been inside and outside at some of our most popular destinations, starting in the Northumberland town of Seahouses. It's been a damp and dull summer, colder and wetter than normal, more wellies and brollies than shorts and sun cream. And yet, for the many tourists on this busy campsite, sun is a bonus, not a necessity. It, it's the perfect opportunity to get away from work, switch off, enjoy it, kick back and spend time with the kids as well. People book up months in advance without even knowing the forecast. I think that come because of the beauty of the different aspects of the weather. We've got mists over the, over the moors, we've got the dramatic skies over the sea and then with any luck we get sunshine as well and beaches. <laughs> At Annick Gardens, just a few miles from the coast, it's not just the flowers that are blossoming, so too are the visitor numbers. Last year, with, uh, with the Brexit result, uh, with the pound sort of depreciating overnight, all of a sudden we became 20% cheaper for international visitors. Annick Gardens has seen an increase in around 12% in its footfall this summer. The Annick Castle say they've seen around a 10% increase, and Bamber Castle say they've seen a 20% increase. All figures that they believe suggests that Northumberland is a place on the rise. Just a ticket then for a successful summer. A successful summer outside and inside as experienced by some of our biggest museums. Discovery Museums had a really good summer. Visit the numbers are 34% up. We've had over 60,000 people through in July and August. Um, place has been buzzing. I think sometimes, you know, if the weather's not looking that great, you think, well, should we go up the coast or should we see what's local? What, what can we do here that's just round about? The museum's really benefited from that. There are many attractions and also days where one of them is the roof, especially when entire families need entertaining. It's fantastic being able to come inside out of the, you know, a, a typical British wet summer. It takes all the stress off, yeah, you're definitely thinking of different things every day to do, yeah, it can be a nightmare. Obviously they, they get bored in the house and they're getting sick of the same toys and it's good to get them out so they can learn. This soft play centre has had to expand because it's been so busy. But constant summer days out can be costly for parents, however well-priced activities are. Got to get them out and about. Just can't be cooked up in the house, it's too much. It does work out expensive, main, but it obviously if you want to keep your children entertained, it's got to be paid for. Others have been happy to sit back, relax and take in a movie for a few hours. The Tyneside Cinema in Newcastle has seen audiences increase by 10% this summer as they celebrate 80 years of showing films. But if movies like Singing in the Rain and Some Like It Hot leave you craving the outdoors, well, our region still has plenty to offer. Northumberland has its coastline and its castles and yes, yeah, sometimes it does have grey skies like today. But you know what, that is not putting people off coming to visit this stretch of the northeast coast. People come here not to get a suntan or to wear a bikini, but for fish and chips, for sandcastles and stunning scenery. Yeah, we know what the weather's like, so what you do is you go out, take a chance on the deer, make the most of it. We just put another layer on and that's it. We did too hot, we take a layer off. Hasn't put you off coming out today? No. Yeah. You've got to make the most of it, haven't you? You're only on this oh. earth once. And it's not just the campsites that are full. More traditional beds are also occupied. We've seen a 3% increase last year on visitor numbers and really encouragingly a, 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 almost a 6% increase in spend from those visitors. So the, the trend is upwards and this season has been uh, consolidating that trend. So we may like to complain about the weather, but many of us find a way around it or choose to ignore it altogether. Amy Lee and Johnny Blair reporting. And Amy is in sea houses for us tonight. Amy, all the evidence is that visitors are flocking to the region then. 
Absolutely, and Pam, it's not a bad night here at all on the stunning Northumberland coastline, is it? Having said that, it has just started to flick with rain in the past few minutes, so do have my umbrella handy just in case. But let me tell you that Bamborough and Sea Houses are absolutely packed tonight. It took me two hours to get here on the A1 this evening coming from Gateshead, and that was just the sheer volume of traffic with people heading up to Northumberland for the bank holiday weekend. In fact, in Sea Houses, the caravanning, uh, caravan and camping site there was so busy, people were queuing to get in again families looking forward to their bank holiday getaway in spite of the weather and it isn't just Northumberland that's seen a bit of a boom County Durham has said the same about their visitors attractions Beamish said they've had a bumper season more visitors this summer in York they've had the Ebor racing festival with thousands of people flocking to the city to enjoy the racing in York the river cruises have had a 70% increase on their nighttime tickets people determined to make the most of the summer evenings even if the weather isn't particularly summery and also Whitby. The tourism bosses there told me today that the town has been buzzing with people making the most of the weather and when it hasn't been great they've seen it as a bit of an adventure. So the beautiful great true British summertime is determined not to give us sunshine all the time but a good time regardless of where we are. Absolutely. Who needs the good weather? We've got so much to be proud of in our patch. Thanks very much Amy.